Welcome, welcome, farmers. Good afternoon. Happy New Year to you all. My name is Lee Van Bart, marketed. Good afternoon. My name is Lee Van Bart, market, market development agronomist for the Northwest region. And this encompasses Chilani, St. James, and Anova. This is our first virtual session for 2024. And you might, you, you may be wondering where is the 2024 calendar? And don't worry, you will get it next week. So our topic for today is CCJ worm control strategy. And this will break down the control of worms using CCJ products. So let's dive right into the, the presentation. Control strategy. Control strategy. This is a, a successful insect pest control program. And this aim to, 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 to disrupt the life cycle and suppresses and prevent insect infestation in your field. Because as we all know, insects can cause economical damage to our crop. And this, we are in farming for our business. And if we are not making a profit, we are losing. And if we are losing, we're gonna top out of farming and we don't want that. As we say, Let's grow, and we want to grow with you. So let us grow together. So control tactics that we use in our worm control involves the one or more pest stage. Because as you know, the pests go through metamorphosis, and you have complete and incomplete metamorphosis. So where are the, 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 the insect move from egg, larvae, nymph and adult so the different stages and you can't involve you can't use one chemistry or one insecticide to control all stage so you have to first know what stage the insect is at to really select the formula or the chemistry to control that specific stage so we go and look at this this diagram here. We have the the the, the false army worm with the, the life cycle. Start the adult, then the adult move on, lay eggs on the leaves, and then the eggs move into larvae, and the larvae is the most destructive stage of the insect. Yes, the most destructive stage of the insect. And then it move on to the larvae, move on from the larvae to the pupa, and then the pupa to adult. So we we target the different stages of the egg, and we have chemistry to target each of the stage of the life cycle of the insect. So factor to consider is, is pest biology, the behavior of the, 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 the insect. That is life cycle, the feeding pattern, this 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 involves whether the, the pest is biting and sucking, biting and chewing, piercing and sucking, etc. So you determine the mouthpiece of the insect and how to really control the insect. So the, the, the mating habit of the insect also to be considered in this strategy. So the the Strategy includes reduction of mat, and this is the adult stage of the insect. So you um we target the adult and to really eliminate. Once we we suppress the adult population, then we also suppress the eggs. And if we suppress the eggs, we also suppress the larvae. So we also have the the, the population of the insect under control by this, and the the. <laughs> 
We also look to 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 target the 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 eggs of the insect. And this we will we will implement our chemistry which has a ovicidal effect which will effectively control the the, the, the eggs of the insect. And the larvae, which I stated before, which is very destructive. It, it, it is the most destructive stage of the insect. So we seem to, we, we aim that, we aim directly to, 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 to target the larval stage of the insect, because this is the most destructive stage of the insect. Even though we also consider the eggs the, 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 and the adult, but the larvae cause more economical damage to the crop. So we aim to use a larvicidal chemistry to control this stage of the insect life cycle. So to really determine the, what type of insect you have infesting your field, the, 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 the population, which is the, 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 the amount of insect in the field. If it's above the economical threshold or below, then that will determine what chemical to use, when to use, and how to use the active ingredient and such, all the, the, the different aspects of the control strategy. So we, we recommend that you do a scouting. And we have different methods of scouting. We can use the Z pattern of scouting, the X pattern, as you can see on the screen, and we can use the, the, the M pattern and also the circular pattern. And this, this is just to determine or determine the population of the particular insect in the field and to identify the mode, the, the, the feeding pattern and all those aspects to really select the specific chemical to target this insect. So we move on to our chemistry. So we have, as I stated before, that we have the different chemistry used to target different life cycle of the insect. And we some in some instead. In some instance, we may combine two chemistry to cause a, a effect to control mat and larvae or egg and larvae. So you will see that further on in the presentation. So chemistry and method used together to develop stage of the, the, the pest, like the product-based biology and behavior, a factor such as feeding habit and life cycle of being considered. All of this is putting together to, to really select the chemistry that we're going to use to control the insect or the larvae in this case. So this is a, a picture of a cabbage where we do a demonstration because we, we carry out several demonstrations of different products in different regions of the country. So so in this picture here, we use the indicorp to reduce the egg and larvae of the diamondback mat in the field. So as you can see, the outer leaf, the, the, that's where the damages took place. But once we come in, or we, we spray on our indicorp, we get the coverage. So the eggs and the larvae, are, we, 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 we suppress the, 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 the larvae and kill the egg. So that's where you see the new growth and the cabbage leaves start to fall and stuff like that. So that's where we're coming with that. And these are some common worms or insects that affect our crops. You have the false army worm in corn. You can see the damage that is done there. And you, you, it might not look like much, but if you're losing your leaves of your plant, then you know that 
your production because the leaf is the powerhouse. That's where all the food make. That's how the leaf, the, that's how the plant makes its food to produce. So if you have a corn like this and the beet, the, the false amberum is eating up the leaves, then you won't have any tasseling. And without any tasseling, then you won't have any corn. Okay? And the corn is the reason why you plant. Okay. And the beet armorum in the onion, very, very serious insect. It eat away the leaves. So they, they burrow into the leaf and then they eat away all the leaf. And this will cause a, a, a drop in production significantly. The corn ear worm, the next serious insect. So they burrow into the corn and they eat, eat away all the corn. And then that is not, then you will lose your marketability of your produce due to the, the, the damage these insects will cause to your crop. We also have the, the beet armyrim in skellion, diamond but mat in the cabbage. We have the rhine worm in watermelon, and also the bud worm in cassava. And all these worms cause economical damage to your crop and will cause you to lose money along your production line. So we position these these chemicals, these insecticides in our worm control strategy just to target the different stages and to get the overall control of the insect in our field. And I just want to say thanks to CCJ for really de developing these strategies to control because without these strategies, oh my God, farmers, you know, worm has always been a challenge over the years and causing economical loss to farmers, to crops. So a program like this is very helpful in the farming communities, I'm telling you. So we have our carotrax, which is a contact, contact insecticide. And we kind of, we position the, con the carotrax with the mimic to, to, to bind. So the, so, so the carotrax will get rid of the adult, the adult mat. So once we get rid of the adult, then you know that we, we, the, 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 there will be no new egg to lay. And we, we, we combine that with the mimic and the mimic will um, with, um, um, regulate, which will stop the growth, stop the feeding of the larvae. And this will cause them to starve and die. Then we come in with our indicar, which is also a contact insecticide. So this has a larvicidal effect and an ovicidal effect. So this get rid of your eggs and your larvae at once. And based on the infestation, the level of infestation in your field, we we consider a product and this product so so if you have a high infestation in your field very high diamond back mat is about 80 percent infestation a causing damage to your crop we'll go in first with the phoenix and this will give you a quick knockdown i'm telling you it's a contact insecticide the, with the active ingredient flu flu bender mild very effective and it also has a translaminar effect so you kind of have the, the a longer residual effect even though the residual effect is 14 to 21 days the pre-harvesting interval is just 24 hour one day so if you have um your crop uh, you, um, you're going to reap to meet your market you can spray that like a day before with your phoenix very effective against the larvae stage. So this product does control the larvae. As I said, the larvae stage is the most detrimental stage of the insect life cycle. So, so based, based on the result from your scouting, 
you will know the level of infestation that you have. And then you can pull from our program the product that should go first and second and the product that you should combine like the character and the mimic to go and give it that full control. All right? So that's how we position the chemical in the program just to get to suppress and kill all those insects and the different life cycle of the insects. So when using chemical to, to improve the efficacy of the chemical, we 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 add adjuvants to the mix. And and these adjuvants help to spread the, 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 the chemical over and penetrate the plant so that it have a longer residual effect on the plant. And we have we have four adjuvants here that we are want to discuss. The first one is exit. And exit is a adjuvant which has a surfactant in it, which bring the active ingredient of the insecticide in the plant. So it so it made the the active ingredient translaminar. Translaminar, so it brings it inside the plant, so it gives a, a longer residual effect of the chemical in the plant. So we also have a new FIM P, which is also an adjuvant and a spreader sticker. So this 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 adjuvant is oil based, and you know how oh, oil and water work. So the oil will protect and behave like a, a cuticle like. Uh, a secondary cuticle and the leaf, which protects the chemical from um, evaporating or, or, or rainfall. So it will protect. So once the, 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 the duofin P is in the product, you know, it have a, a longer residual effect on the plant and give a longer coverage of insect control. The breakthrough is also another adjuvant with a surfactant in it. And this means this product, when added to your insecticide mix, it made the mix act as a, a translaminar chemical. So it brings the active ingredient across the, 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 the leaf laminar. So it kind of break the surface tension and bring the chemical inside and giving it a extended residual effect. Very important. And also the spreader sticker, which um, also stick the chemical to the leaf and protect it and having it last longer on the plant. And all these adjuvants are very effective in carrying out and improving the efficacy of insecticide that they use. So please don't leave these adjuvants out of your insecticide mix. And these are some um, field demonstration that was carried out yeah, with the new FIMP in cabbage. So you know we, we, we have the new FIMP. The mixing rate is um, half to one teaspoon per gallon. So we put that in our worm control strategy. So we, um, for instance, we have our indicab, which will, we, the mixing rate is 10 ml, 5 to 10 ml per gallon. So we normally put the indicab in the sprayer first. Then we had our, our new FIMP last. We also add, we, we, we should, the mixing, the mixing, the mixing harder. We sh in a mixing order, we should we 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 should always position our adjuvants last. We should also we we should put in our adjuvant in the last part of our mixing. So you put in your uh, you put in your insecticide, you put in your 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 your, your fungicide, whatever. But your 
your um, adjuvant should go in last in your spray pad. So in, in all pesticides, you have pre-harvesting interval, and this is very important because you have to look towards your consumers and you have to protect them from, from um, consuming all these active ingredients and this can cause uh, health issues. So on all labors, there should be and there is a pre-harvesting interval that this is a withdrawal period, the, the period of which the, 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 the the, the, the active ingredient is out of the plant so the consumer can consume it and does not get sick. So for the carachacks, you have two to three days in, in vegetables. And in corn, you have 20 days pre-harvesting interval. And in the, in the carb, seven to 14 days in all crops. And in the mimic, seven to 14 days in pre-harvesting interval. So when using insecticide or any pesticide whatsoever, pre harvesting interval is very important. Very, very important. And the mixing rate. The mixing rate. Farmers, the mixing rate is very important. Because I, I, I went to several farms and then farmers are, are, are saying that, oh, Mr. Barrett, the, the product is not working. The product is not good. No, the product is not good. Like the indica, right? it's a very good product. So what is the problem? All right. What well, how about do you mix the the, the indica per 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 gallon? Oh, Mister Barrett, I just put in. I just I just put two tablespoons per the 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 the, 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 the spray pan. I said no, I can't do it like that. No, Mister Barrett, I've been doing this. So long, I, I saw my grandparents and said, no, the mixing rate is very important. Follow the mixing rate on the bottle, especially for the Indicarb, 2.5 to 5 ml. And without this, and this will give you a good coverage. So follow the mix, following the mixing rate is very important and crucial to the worm control strategy. The mixing rate should not be overlooked when it comes to controlling any insect at all. Because if you mix the the chemical at a lower rate, then the chemical will act to the insect as as a vaccine. So so it's like you're vaccinating the insect against the 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 the, the, the active ingredient. So whenever you spray again and spray again with this, because you introduce the active ingredient at a weaker dose, you will create that effect, the, the insect will develop immunity against this active ingredient. And then after you use it again, it's not going to work. So mixing rate is very important. Very, very important. And it is more det detrimental to mix the chemical at a lower dosage than overdose. I'm not saying to you that you should mix it overdose, but it is more detrimental to you and your farm to mix this the chemical, any chemical at a lower rate than specify on the bottle. All right. This this is some a demonstration that we carried out with the mimic in cabbage. And as I said, the mimic is a, a larvae stop. It stopped the larvae from growing and force them into force um force them into molting. These are some pictures. The control, which is you see over the the, the, the right side and the, the treated. So in we at CCJ we carry out several field demonstrations to show farmers because we just don't go and say, oh, this product is good and you should use it. And we we show and teach. So we go into different regions with our different agronomists where we do our field demonstration. We use our products on the farm and we get results 
from these products and then we do our field days and farmer will see that our product works. All right. So we, we did a, a field demonstration in um at Lensford Farm in Mafuta, St. James, with the tomato. Yeah. And we use two applications of Indicarb at 10 ml per gallon of water. And that is two teaspoons per gallon of water. And we have a significant control of the larvae and head stage of the insect, of the worm. You can see in the, 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 the left picture here, this is the, the, the treated. And in the, 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 the right, we have the control where you see the damage caused to the fruits. We also can see the major difference here in the right, two weeks after treatment and four weeks after treatment. You can see the, 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 the product at work in this field. We also did the demonstration in Braco in Onion with the Carachax. And we, with, with two applications of Carachax. And Carachax, uh, we mix it, Carachax have a mixing rate of half to one teaspoon per gallon, but we use it at 5 ml, which is the highest rate of application to control the beet army room in Onion in Braco Chilani. And as you see here, we use it with exit at 5 ml per gallon. You can see the worms there, beet army worm and the onion. And those are some pictures of the farm showing the, the, the effectiveness of the car chat controlling the worms in the onion field. Three weeks after application. Also, field demonstration in Patrick Blair location, Bog Hole, Clarendon, in our cabbage, where we use Indicarb plus new Fim P, rotate with Mimics plus Karachak. And this, as I was saying before, we, we combine the Mimic and the Karachak. So the Mimic will destroy the larvae stage, and the Karachak will also target the, 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 the adult stage. And this we get a, a, a synergical effect of control of the insects. And the indicarb will also wipe out the eggs and the larvae as well. So we kind of go in first with our indicarbs, with our indicarb, plus the new fin pea, and we wipe out the larvae and the eggs. And if there's any, because you're going to have mats there after the first application. So then we're going now with our Indicarb and Mimic and just do a second application. And then we have total control, our, 90, our 97%, our 99% control of the insect on our second application. We also did this demonstration at Lover and Dose, a lo location guy, they'll send catching on an Irish potato. And we go in with our one application of Caprid, and this is a systemic insecticide, and also a very good wildfly control insecticide. So we go in with our Caprid plus the Mimic. So the Caprid will target the, 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 the the adult stage of the, 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 the insect and the mimic will target the, the, the larvae as well. And remember, we have the new Fimpedia, which is an adjuvant, which is aisle based adjuvant that keep and protect the chemical on the leaves of the plant. And here is the, a picture of the, the mimic and the capri that work. So, but as you can see, there is no further damage happening. You can see the new growth, and there is no further damage happening to the plant 
after we make the application. You see the worms there? So the worms start to change color because the mimic stop the growth and then they start to condense. So it, so, so, so the mimic force mold, force mold the larvae. So you can see there. And here are some other pictures of the mimic at work where they and the color loop. And this is it. So on the left here we have the initial observation. I can see the worms eating through the leaves. And seven days after application of the mimic, you can see the new growth, and there's no worm eating on the leaves. The phoenix. We did some demonstration in the Phoenix application in onion and cornfield in St. Catherine. And the result, the result was significant. 95% control of the beet armorum, the false armorum, and the cornea worm. A very effective chemical against these insects. We also did a, a application in Escalian and cornfield in Manchester and Westmoreland, and the result is at the same 98% control of the beet army worm, the false army worm, and the corn ear worm. Very effective chemical. And in all things, cost benefit analysis. You want to know that um, to control the cost of controlling versus the cost of not controlling your insect. And how does it affect you and affect your profit of your farming business? So we did a cost analysis, a cost benefit analysis of cabbage. And we are working it out to an acre of cabbage, which is 16, approximately 16,000 plants per acre and we are averaging, averaging it to two pounds per head per cabbage and in our control realm control program we have the indicar the mimic carachax phoenix so we we got to use each of these chemicals two times in our crop cycle so we have the the, the indicar one liter which costs seven seventeen thousand six hundred per liter. We have the mimic one liter eleven thousand two hundred per liter. The Karachax five hundred ml bottle two thousand and seventy dollars per bottle. We have the Phoenix, which two fifty grams per for the acre at twenty six thousand five hundred, and this all. Come up to 57,120. And this is the cost of your worm control strategy for your crop for your crop life cycle. So using this program, it will cost you $57,120. And you will get superb outcome. 95% control of your worm. So you also get maximum production from your crop when using the program. If you don't use the program, you will, if you don't use the CCJ program, you will attract a loss of about 70% damage of your crop, which will equivalent to a loss of 22000 400 pounds for the one acre. If you use the CCJ program, you will attract a 32,000 pound of cabbage for the acre. So, without the program, 70% of your 32,000 pound of cabbage 
will equal to 2,400 pounds loss. And saying that you're getting a pound of, you're selling a pound of cabbage for $100 times the 22,400 pounds by 100. That is $2.24 million loss. In so a fifty seven thousand one hundred and twenty dollar using the product, the program that's the cost, and not using the product, you will lose two point two four million dollars. So do the maths, farmers. And when you use the product now, you will get two thousand thirty two thousand pounds times one hundred. Which will equivalent to three point two million dollar in profit, huh? and this the, this loss of two point four million dollar, you know, it doesn't take into consideration the fertilizer cost and the labor cost, etc. So please bear in mind all these other costs will add up to even more loss in profit. So looking at the fifty seven thousand one hundred. You might say it's a lot, but look at the loss that you will amass over the, the, the life cycle of three months of the crop. That's a big loss. So the CCJ worm control program is very effective and will be very beneficial to you in the long run. And also keep you informing because if you should get this loss over three or four crops, I guarantee you, you won't be informing for the fifth crop. <laughs> right? So, in all things, in all pesticide application, safety comes first. Because I can't be doing farming and thinking of doing the farming business and making money. But if you don't put in practice safety, you're going to spend back all this money in medicine to spend back all this money in medical treating. So safety is very important. And wearing your PPE during mixing and application, very important. So don't say because you're not out there spraying, you're not going to put on your respirator, your gloves, your cape, until you start to spray. Wearing your protective gear while mixing, very important. Spill, the scent, everything. It will affect your health. Read the label truly and follow the instruction. Very important. Instruction, instruction. All the mixing rate, everything is there for you to read. Read and follow instruction. Right? Triple rinse, tri triple rinse, empty container and dispose of them as instructed. Very important because several times I went to farm and see the, 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 the pesticide or insecticide but all over the farm through them. Even some farmers using back the pesticide bottle. Very important. Follow instruction and the labor. Very, very important farmers. Do not handle chemical near water source. This is another problem. Yes. Do not apply pesticide in excessively windy conditions. So please, farmers, spray your pesticide or insecticide in the cooler time of the day, early morning or late afternoon. Please, I'm begging you. Wash your PPT. Watch your PPE after every application. So don't say, um, me never, not never spill by my clothes today, so I don't have to wash it today. No. Each time you use it, apply chemicals, wash. Shower with soap and water and put on clean clothes before coming in contact with your family member. Yes. So don't, after you apply your chemical, you go home and you hug up your, your two-year-old daughter. Hey, I'm a, I love you, daddy, love you. No, you should wash, bathe before you get in contact with your family. All right? Safety is very important. And it comes first above all things, your health.
very expensive. And now um, this is our Jocto PPE, CCJ Jocto PPE, very effective um, protective gear that you should have. All farmers should seek to get one of these PPEs. Yeah, here we have the glove, the cape, the hat, we have the face shield, the pants. Man, everything is right here for you. Get it in one package. We have it in all different sizes, so don't worry about your size. We we have size for you. All right. Um, we have upcoming events, activities that we want to share with you. Wednesday, January seventeenth, Bell is excellent. Field day in Mafuta, St. James at 10 a.m. And that at that site, you will meet Mr. Levon Bart and he will be carrying out that field day in Mafuta. Thursday, January 18th, store day at Superior Farm and Garden Center, Moran Bay, St. Thomas, from 9 to 4. So please be there and don't be late. Thursday, January 18th, field day at Omex in at Omex in Cantilope. Flagaman, St. Elizabeth, from 10. And that event will be held by my colleague, Sian Spence. Yes. On Friday, January 19th, CCJ Live, Bamba Irish Potato production. Oh, my God. Please be there. We will have a fun time. Tuesday, January 23rd, Agrotech Forum in Christiana. And that's a big thing. Just come out in your numbers. And you will get advice. We will show you demo, demonstration plot, etc., etc. And on Wednesday, January twenty fourth, Irish Potato Training Day, Spring Church of God in Content, Westmoreland, at ten a.m. So please be there. And is there any question? Okay, Levan, there was one question in the chat. Um, is Felix compatible to mix with fungicide and folia? Yes, they're very compatible with most insecticides and fungicides. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? So, go ahead. All right, so that's a wrap. Um, just look out for our 2024 calendar as they come out in the trade. Just ask your farm store for them. And we're looking forward to see you on Friday on our live Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Have a great day.